Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and Microsoft once again brings back some old stories of why Windows 11 is better than Windows 10 and it's actually accelerating the number of blog posts that they are putting on. So this time around they're talking about TPM. So for example this old machine uh, does not have a TPM chip. So if I go to device security there is no standard hardware security uh, as they say. So what happens is that Microsoft has posted a long blog post on their website saying that Windows 11 is so better in security because of TPM and uh, they give explanation of why TPM is a good thing first of all for encryption support, uh, second for prevention of tampering a TPM chip can detect tampering and changes and prevent the system from booting if uh, needed. Uh, it can also be paired with software and, for example, banking software uh, could be using TPM to ensure that the uh, information is encrypted and is safe. And, of course, uh, through using the TPM with software, uh, they say it makes Windows 11 a lot more uh, secure and and so on and so on and of course um, you know Microsoft has never really made the case to a point where everybody agrees that you know, oh yeah it's better it's not better TPM is definitely a feature that uh, helps make security higher security the problem is for a lot of what we do on PCs and this is also where Microsoft kind of is in a disconnect we say it all the time with the regular user for the regular user most of what they do does not use will not use and they don't even know what a TPM is uh, which is a trusted platform module so this you know kind of series of posts they've been doing lately shows that well they're trying to kind of tell us that there are some security features and features that could be very good and helpful to us and at the same time are pretty much unable to reach the average Windows user which doesn't care about these things really and you know it will be okay for maybe enterprise enterprise will like to know what's more secure and how it can help them stay secure. But the average user, no. And um, I think this is like a last effort in the case of Microsoft to try to lure people away from Windows 10 because they're seeing that, you know, it's still up there. It's still popular. And they just don't know what to do and what to say to um, just, you know, they just like blurt out the word security and hope that people are just going to catch on and say, oh, apparently it's more secure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.